In this ninth lesson about deism, we will talk to a deist again, and he will be our addressee. Now we ask the deist, Is the Allah that you believe in just or cruel? God forbid. You probably do not believe in a cruel creator, and you accept that the creator is just. Yes, our creator is infinitely just. However, we see that man cannot see the reality of that justice in this ephemeral world. An oppressor lives with dignity in this world, and the oppressed live in contempt. However, true justice necessitates the punishment of the oppressor and the return of the rights to the oppressed. This is only possible in the hereafter. There would be no justice if the hereafter did not exist. Our just Lord does not allow such injustice. Thus, belief in Allah's justice necessitates belief in the hereafter. If the hereafter exists, there must be prophets and holy books must be sent. For only prophets can inform us about how the reckoning in the hereafter will take place. What is halal? And what is haram? What is tawab? And what is a sin? When there are no prophets, heavenly books can teach them to us. The reason why deists deny the hereafter is as follows. When they accept the hereafter, they will have to accept prophets and heavenly books. We prove the existence of the hereafter in our work called Belief in the Hereafter, with the certainty of 2 plus 2 equaling 4. For this reason, we will not deal with this issue here. We refer you to that work. You can visit our website, windowsofislam.com and can and must watch our work called Belief in the Hereafter. To sum up, Allah is just. His justice necessitates the existence of the hereafter. The existence of the hereafter necessitates the existence of the prophets and the books that will tell us about that realm and teach us the deeds that are the cause of happiness within that realm. A person who cannot deny Allah cannot deny his justice. Since he is Allah, he will definitely be just. Oppression does not fit him. A person who cannot deny Allah's justice cannot deny the hereafter. Since he is just, he will definitely take the right of the oppressed from the oppressor. Since he does not take it fully in this world, he will definitely take it in another realm. The name of that realm is the realm of the hereafter. A person who cannot deny the hereafter cannot deny the prophets and heavenly books. Since the realm of the hereafter exists, there must be prophets and books so that they will tell us about that realm, warn us and inform us about what is forbidden and what is permissible. Thus the existence of prophets is as certain as the existence of Allah and His justice.